you know, um, Mr. Peabody and Sherman was originally uh, an American cartoon that was to do with the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. And it's basically about this incredibly intelligent dog who has been an Olympic um, gold medalist, um, is a complete genius, and decides one, at one point it's uh, time to adopt a son. So uh, I play the voice of the time machine, the Wayback Machine. So I'm instrumental in the film in helping them go back in time and don't want to give too much away, but they kind of mess things up a bit and then have to go back and sort it out. How did you first get involved in the project? What excited you about it? Oh, it's so amazing. I mean, it's an iconic cartoon that's now been made into a movie. And it's ne the time machine, the Wayback Machine, has never, ever had a voice before. So I'm, I'm incredibly excited. And one of my friends, actually, uh, he saw it last night, a pre-screening in America. And he was like, oh, I, saw, I heard your voice and I was so excited. I can't wait to see it. I'm ecstatic. What's the Wayback sound like? What kind of a voice does a time machine have? It's uh, like time travel initiating. Kind of like that. <laughs> I think it's a classic story and it's very interesting for me when I tell people, oh, I'm the Wayback Machine. People, um, especially Americans, have even, they've either said, oh, I don't know that, or, oh, that's amazing. So I can't wait to, for this story to be introduced to Europe, to the UK, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Tell us a bit about some of the other voices we may recognise, because it's a wonderful voice cast alongside you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ty Burrell um, from Modern Family is uh, the lead. And then um, uh, Mel Brooks is in it as well, uh, Stephen Colbert. And uh, maybe you can spot them as they go through. <laughs> I love voice acting. Um, it's it's all here, you know. It's all in your voice, and with voice acting, you get to create this entire world just from using your voice. And you can be one day you can be an ogre, the next day you can be a fairy, and the next day you can be a time time machine. So it's a it's it's a very freeing medium being a voice actor, creating this this wonderful character just using your voice. And again, you know, it doesn't matter how tall you are, how short you are, you know, what religion you are, the colour of your skin is. You can be anybody from the ogre to the time machine. What do you think fans are going to take away from this film overall when they get a chance to see it themselves? I'm hoping it's just going to be really enjoyable, um, a great ride through you know, the peaks and troughs of being a family as well as um, the comedy, there's going to be a lot of comedy in it, look at the cast. So. <laughs>